Well, domestic violence is a horrible reality for many women. However, in Beaufort, North Carolina, there is an incredible woman who overcame her abuse and is now on her way to becoming a country music star. Producers Erica Stark and Patricia Raskin bring us this heartwarming story. Here in Beaufort, North Carolina, is a story of an inspirational woman whose courage, conviction, and strength enabled her to overcome agoraphobia and open the door to a successful musical career. A native of Beaufort, Angela Baker was raised by a loving family in this modest country home. She married at 19 to a man 13 years her senior. Their 10-year marriage produced two children, but the relationship became physically abusive, causing Angela to become agoraphobic. She developed an abnormal fear of open or public places. This crippling condition made Angela terrified to leave her home. As the condition worsened, Angela's husband had her hospitalized. Ironically, this was the beginning of her road to freedom and stardom. For the last three years, Angela has worked hard to overcome these odds. She is now on her way to becoming a national country music singer. When was it that you realized you could do something to make a change? I realized when I'd hit bottom, um, I was, I had reached a point in my life to where I was just going nowhere. I, I wasn't happy with myself. I had no pride. Um, I just felt like I was going nowhere. I felt like there was nothing in life for me. What was the first step that you took to get out of this situation? Well, I sought counseling. I went to my doctor and, uh, of course, doctors, they try to put you on medication and everything to, to cure this kind of thing or to, to keep the symptoms from happening. Um, however, I found that to be very addictive and I found uh, that on a daily basis I had to depend totally on this medication to get me by. and. I found myself in an addictive situation also with medications doctors had put me on and that I, I was going nowhere with that situation either. Angela began her career in an unusual way. She responded to a talent search that a local radio station was conducting. Wally Fowler was the producer looking for the talent. He had already discovered Patsy Klein and Hank Williams. I, I got this 1-800 number and I responded to it without getting <laughs> excited because I just had no idea that anything like that would I'd ever hear anything from it. Um, I left my name and number and I had to go back out again that afternoon and when I returned home there was an answer on my machine that uh, was left there by Wally's assistant. His assistant had called the number that the radio station had given him to my house and when I was out the one day at a time song was playing on my answering machine and he said Wally listen to this he took the phone and said listen and Wally took the phone and he, he listened there for a minute and he said oh my goodness um don't know who she is but go and get her and get her there tonight or go, go find her if you have to go to Newburn tonight or wherever it is you have to meet her go get her <laughs> Wally not only became Angela's friend he also began to write songs for her. Wally just passed away three months ago, but Angela's friend, teacher, and mentor had high hopes for her. And it's taken me a whole lot to come out from where I have been on the dark side. And I said, I will keep right on getting on for the rest of my life. I will never return back to that, nor do I ever want to. And he said, that's all I needed to know, was that you will go on and continue on should anything, any obstacles ever stand in your way. He said, you continue on, he said, and you'll be a success in this life. Wally's predictions were right. Angela has been honored for sharing her musical talents by various organizations. And she performed for the troops during Desert Storm. Angela's dream is to perform at the Grand Old Opry, and she's on her way. 
She completed recording the songs that Wally Fowler wrote for her, and she's producing a tribute to Wally with the help of his daughter and wife. This just goes to show you that anyone can overcome the obstacles and challenges in their lives. When the battle that I'm fighting Brings me to my knees And I feel alone and stranded And no one seems to see I won't let this valley steal my faith Or have the...